Hey guys, welcome back to Chao Kedi. And today I have a special guest with me, and his name is Dollar Sign I am me. I got him, ain't no time for cops and robbers. Chase them checks and spend them dollars. I'm on 25 hours, no sleep now. Hey. Cop pull me over, I don't put the weed down. Hey. They tax me to sit in VIP then. Yeah. Let me just breathe now. Yeah. I'm on a mission to get it. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Where is home, Dawa? Uh, home is a little small town out of, um, right outside of Chicago, Illinois. It's uh, Kankakee, Illinois, aka K3, aka The Land, Killer Keys. It's about 40 miles south of Chicago, um, Midwest. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That's nice. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what inspired you to do music? Uh, pretty much it's kind of like everybody else, you know, music. I have a musical background, you know, my mother used to sing a lot, um, sung in church choirs, uh, you know, uh, singing Saturday mornings. We all love cleaning up the house and everything. You know, I grew up on a lot of old school music. You know, um, I grew up in church, you know, I, used to play the drums in church growing up, so I was always at choir rehearsals and things like that. And, oh. and like music was just like basically, you know, um, just my life. It was an escape, you know, especially with some of the things I was going through growing up. So it was just like, at a young age, I started, you know, just writing poetry. Oh, okay. And then poetry turned into, you know, uh, starting rapping. And then rapping turned into, you know, idolizing you know, people like Tupac, Biggie, Big L, okay. Big Pun, you know, watching them people and turn into trying to rap and then it's actually just turning into doing it. Oh, okay. That's what, like, what was life like growing up? Uh, growing up, I mean, it's pretty much the same as every inner city, you know, kid growing up in poverty um, without a father. You know, my father didn't claim me. I want to say like the first six or seven years of my life, my mom was working, what, two to three jobs. I got um, three older sisters. I'm the baby boy. Aww. You know, they all had kids at a very young age. Got nine nieces and nephews. My first niece was born when I was, what, six years old. Aww. So it was more like a big brother thing with me and her versus uncle slash oh, okay. niece. You know, and just basically just trying to find my way in the world, you know, not not having, you know, sometimes having to wear my sister clothes and stuff like that to school. And, what? Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, like getting teased and always fighting because people would tease me. I, I didn't have no brothers to run home to oh. and they helped me fight my battles. I used to get teased a lot because I didn't have, you know, so that was... So because of that, that's what makes you stronger these days, huh? Well, I just know how to just deal with no that don't make me that don't make me stronger that that makes me better because better. you know all my life I'm just fighting you know and I'm not necessarily fighting for myself I'm fighting for other people who don't have a voice because I was teased so much it's like I can't tolerate bullying I can't tolerate you know somebody shooting a smurf when I say shooting a smurf it's you know people picking on people just because mm -hmm. they know that person can't do anything to them yes. and I don't stand for that so I'm always fighting for other people, you know, and that's what makes me stronger because in my heart, I know I'm doing the right thing. Oh, you know? okay. So what is your relationship with ladies? Um, well, as, as, as of right now, I'm just cooling it. You know, I don't, I'm not in a relationship right now. I just got out of a rocky divorce that I, for the oh. first time in my life, I put everything on the line and, you know, I was in love. You know, Aww. and she decided to walk off because of whatever reasons are insecurity or whatever, you know, um, because I wanted to get back and doing music. So I walked away from, you know, a, um, a great career running a multi-million dollar dealership. You know, money was never the issue with me. You know, uh, she walked away from the 4,500 square foot home that I bought her, five bedrooms. Oh, wow. You know, built in 2015. You know, wow. it's now 2019 now, and she just walked away. So I was just like, you know, I'm trying to fight for my marriage, but at the end of the day, it's just like, I just let her go. You know? So um, I want her to be happy, I want her to be free. Okay, so how do you deal with, with that now? How well, do you deal with it? 
Well, I mean, I deal with that the same way I deal with everything else because I, I'm, I'm used to people walking out of my life. You know, I didn't, I didn't have plenty of managers. You know, I, I, I didn't have plenty of friendships, plenty of relationships. I had people that I loved that died and gone. You know, best friends dead and gone. They ain't walking out of my life, but they leaving my life. Yeah. So I'm used to people coming in, leaving. You know, I mean, people, you know, take kindness, take my kindness for, for weakness, weakness, even though yeah. that I'm a big guy. Mm -hmm. and, and and I can bully my way around and do this. Mm -hmm. I choose not to do that. So now um, I know a little bit about your personal side. Yes, ma'am. Um, I want to talk about uh, about your music. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any projects coming up? Uh, well, I have a um, situation right now um, with a distribution company. We finna probably get ready and uh, close that deal. Wow, that's good. I know good. for a fact that we finna close that deal. And, um, you know, so that's huge. You know, I just dropped, you know, my uh, first album. That's good. Uh, worldwide. Uh, it's called The Story Never Told. It got 27 tracks on it. Wow. And I purposely did it, whereas it's not one rap feature on it, you know. And 27 songs without one rap feature. I mean, that's just stuff that I've just been going through, going through. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give this away because in order to bring people in, mm -hmm. people will never care about you until they know how much you care about them. Yes, that's true. And at the true. end of the day, I care about my fans. I care about my supporters. So everybody who have been supporting me throughout the years of my music career, I just wanted to give that to them. That's true. And okay. um, I'm actually working on, you know, a, um, Finny Rain dropped a single with um, A.B. Fad. Oh. It's called Hold You Down. I put him on the Hold You Down remix uh, that's on my album right now. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm happy getting, for I'm you. I'm getting the right people around. Um, <clears throat> so apart from you, who is your favorite rapper apart from you? Um... I really don't have a favorite rapper because everybody is great at what they do. Do okay. you know? And I don't want to knock down nobody else. Nobody, shine yeah. And saying that you know, <laughs> that's smart. The best, this is the best. I listen to everybody, and I'm willing to work with everybody. But when it comes down to more so, I'm more so interested in underground artists because here's the thing: underground artists, you know, the ones that's not signed, yeah, to a label, they got the free freedom to do whatever they want to do. Yes, that's and true. And that's when their music is the purest mm -hmm. because there's no limitations. They can do what they want to do. They don't have a label here label, saying, yeah. don't this do this. Yeah. We're going. Don't do this. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I love listening to working with underground artists, you know, but I do have artists, you know, that's already in the game and established okay. that I focus on and I listen to one person in particular. I mean, his music is great. But it's just his thought process and the way he put his songs together and everything. And people joke on him and do all this stuff. But, you know, Drake is actually somebody who I oh. can, you know what I'm saying, just respect. You know, through all the adversity, all the people cracking jokes about him from Wheelchair Jimmy to, you know, Degrassi and, you know, just all type of other stuff, poking fun at him. <laughs> and he still managed to just keep elevating, keep elevating, uh, and just keep winning. Yeah. You know, that's what I respect the most about that gentleman. You know, um, <clears throat> when you work hard in life, it's you know, right. you always succeed. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's good. And I follow you on Instagram. Yes, ma'am. And I saw all your posts. You <laughs> you always post. Yeah, I'm always you always posting. in a you know in a happy mood, you yes, know. And I like that about you, you know. Yes, ma'am. And um, do you have any artist in mind right now you want to do a collaboration with? Let me say, like African. Mm -hmm. Well, um, actually, AB Fad um, introduced me to another. Um, genre of music that I wasn't familiar with. Familiar with, okay. Afro pop, and he take me to a bunch of clubs around Atlanta. Oh. And um, every time we go in, I mean, this kid is when I say he's popping. <laughs> so now you know, um, AB, AB introduced you to the 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 Afro beat. Do you have a, like plan to go to Africa? Um, to I would, do I, you I, know? I, I would love to go. A to show Africa. there. I would love to go to Africa. I have a desire to go to. France. I have a desire to go to the UK. I have a desire to go to the Dominican and do shows. Well, I want to cool. just travel. And travel and see everywhere. the wall. Yeah, because you only live once. Like, yeah. People don't understand is that when you die, 
you're done. And that's it. You, you're you never that's coming it. back as yes. you. If there's reincarnation, if there's a heaven and hell, whatever your belief <laughs> is, you're never coming back as you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm focusing on right now living my life to the fullest because I am trying to get overseas. I am trying to do things like that. So what, what scares you the most in life? Like what scares you the most? Um... Nothing scares me now, you know. I'm not scared of dying because I never died before. <laughs> so how do I know to be scared of that? Yeah, um, that's I, true. We all take chances every day when we wake up and leave the house. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get in the car, it's a risk. You know, it's just a Life risk. Life is a risk. My yeah. only hope is just to make sure I get back home safe. My only fear is I have. I want to say two fears, but they're really not fears because I'm doing it. Okay. My only fear is. My music falling upon deaf ears, uh -huh. meaning nobody ever hear me and hear what I have to say and hear my story and just hear the way I want to motivate and uplift people uh -huh. um, through my craft. And my other fear is, you know, not going full fledged and chasing my dream. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I didn't quit my job, walked away from that. So I'm going full fledged. That was my only fear because I don't want to have any regrets because regrets is what will eat at you. Yeah. So where do you see yourself in three years time in the music industry? Uh, I'm not even giving myself three years. The reason you why- You give I, 10? I'm not giving myself <laughs> 10 either. I, I'm at a point right now in my life where I'm not looking for the future. Oh, okay. Because I can die tomorrow. Yeah, that's you see true. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm living for today, hoping for the future. For, for the future. You know what I'm saying? That's all you can do. So at the end of the day, where I see myself in music three years from now, I don't know. So now I'm just putting everything together. Together. To put that machine in motion. And once that machine is motion, mm -hmm. in motion, then I yeah. can just sit back and just manage everything yeah. that I got going on. That's good. I got my record label. I'm, mm -hmm. I want to sign other acts, I other know. genres of music and things like that. You know, so, if I, I, so if I decided to sing music, are you going to sign me? I got you. I'll sign you right <laughs> now. I'll sign you right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, because with your beauty, you probably oh, can sell boy. a blank disc, you know what I'm saying, with no music on it, you know what I mean? You know, you just, you, you, you can put your face on it and say, here, $20 a pop. <laughs> yeah. So I know you just drop a record and a video, yes, so can you tell the viewers how this record is doing right now? Oh, yeah, well, the record as I got them is doing very, very well. Um, uh, to make a long story short, you know, it, it's a... I'll be honest with you, it's a petty record, but it's a great record. It's more like an anthem. You know, I just came back and just spoke my truth on it. And just everybody who said that I won't do this or I can't do this or I can't do that, I'm like, I got you. Oh, okay. And this is what I'm going to continue to do because when something is destined, okay. you know, it's out of my hands, it's out of your hands, it's, out of, it's in God's hands. This is the path that, you know, God's placed me to be at. So, mm, that's you know, good. I mean, and it's just, a, it, it's just a dope record. It's just a feel good record, mm. dope beat, you know. And it got my name in the hook too. So, oh, okay. Yeah, That's the producer good. made it just for me. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> Dollar is your real name? Well, actually, um, you know, my name oh, is Simeon. Name. Oh, okay. It's, it's Simeon. S I M E O N. Um, everybody call me Simi. Since Simi. I was a kid. Simi, that name sounds I'm Nigerian. I'm coming to America. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming to America, Simi. But everybody that call name me sounds Simi. Nigerian. S I M E. Okay. So, to make a long story short, you know, I was always hustling, trying to get money to help my mother out growing up, pay a little things, cut grass, shovel snow, That's do whatever cool. I had to do. So my uncles start calling me Dollar Sign. They call me Dollar. You know what I'm saying? They call me Because you always Simi. go there, like, yeah. you know, and making then, money. Exactly. <laughs> and they call me Semi, but then they changed the S to the money sign because I love trying to make money. Okay. So that said, it's Dollar Sign, I am me. Okay. But I just spell it out, Dollar Sign, I am me. I am me. But it still spells Simi because Simi. that's my name. So. Oh, okay, that's yeah. cool. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for coming. But before you leave, yes, I really want you to do some freestyle <laughs> for my viewers. Especially, <laughs> I knew that your, was coming. especially your rapper, you know. So you, please, you. can you do some freestyle for my viewers? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's not a problem. Um, I don't worry about being the freshest. My only focus is to. Focus on my future blessings, conquer lessons that will place my mental state off in depression. Women throw a pass, I watch it get intercepted. Hey. 
They say dollar, he hella vicious. Hey. Always see the bigger picture. Reason I don't fuck with bitches, they fuck the niggas rolling with you. Hey. Reason I don't deal with snitches, they send the feds to come and get you. Models on Snapchat, Facebook, Insta. Stay up out my DMs, I'm never fucking with you. Penny really? pad is like a fork and knife. I use them as utensils, instrumental like a microwave. I heat it up, it's simple. Ever disrespect my name, I'm in your grill, yeah, dental. I live a fast pace so long, it's time to slow it up. Now my vision see the world reversing like it's backing up. Same niggas laugh at me, reaching, trying to dap me up. When hands collide, that's a clap. Another way to clap me up. Never been no rat in us. Fed's phone tapping us. Never been a Jill, we keep the hammers, that's the jack in us. Never been the type to pop shit, you know, acting tough. We move in silence, sticking to the script, the only acting us. Fake friends call me like, dollar A is going down. I'm like, ain't nothing going down here. I'm trying to stay up. I'm nasty with the finger roll. I master how to lay up. Wow. Correct my sons when they wrong. Kiss them, then we make up. Mistakes is just lessons that I learn from. Then I burn one. Then help someone else through it. Stripes, that's how you earn one. Never forget where I came from. I'm cool with eating leftovers. No matter how your stomach get full, that's when the stress over. Dollar, he a cocky breed. Ain't nobody stopping me. He throw hands like Apollo Creed. Yeah, I learned to bob and weave. He lyrical like Meek and Drake. We just in a different league. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's nice. Thank you so much. So can you tell the viewers where to follow you on? You can follow me at Instagram, IG. Uh, at dollar sign I am me official. That's D O L L A S I G N I M E official. Follow me there. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Thank you very much for coming. And I just want to give you this beautiful t shirt. Thank you so much. No problem at all. It's beautiful. Is these your lips? Big old nice for your lips to get on. I guess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Chats with Katie. Please follow me on Instagram, Chats with Katie. God bless you.